running out of money in cash and I spent £270 bank transfer on one item and in it was this. Last week was a double booter, two boot sales. Today, we're hitting three. Welcome back to the channel, Tatsters. My name's Jewel Dross. This is Retro Reselling and I buy and sell all sorts of cheap stuff that I find at boot sales, charity shops, auctions and then I sell it on the internet for a profit. That's my business. And it's a triple threat boot sale. I've got my standard morning boot sale that I go to. Then there's that mini one that I went to in the car park. And then the return of my late riser starts at 10. And yeah, it's one of my favorites. Well, it's my favorite Sunday one anyway. So this will be very interesting. Very excited to get going. 20 to six, takes five minutes to get to this first boot sale. So I'm gonna be in there quarter to 10 to the latest. Ooh. It's gonna be a good one. If you haven't come across this channel before and this is your first booter video, I've got a GoPro, I've got a backpack that's attached to, you know, see my point of view, come along with me, hopefully get some interactions, get some deals going, bit of each boot sale, and then at the end, we'll go through in my unit, what I bought, what I'm gonna hopefully sell it for, if I've made any fails, if there's any bolos, be on the lookout, then yeah, I'll let you know at the end. All right, let's get going, engine on. See you in the field. How much are new bits down here, or sort of yeah. prices going on? What are we looking at? Uh, like That's these two. Three. That's third two, that one. Yeah. What about the one in the front there? VHS? Yeah, Five. Five, yeah. Grab that one. Let's grab that one for now, the VHS. Yeah. That's fine. Lovely. Thank That's you. Right. Cheers. This is what we like to see. Bosh. Look at that. Been here 20 minutes. I can go home now if I really wanted to. Cracking start. How much on the trainers? How much on trainers? I'm only doing for cut the pudding. Yeah? I'll grab them once then, please. There's two there for that. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah, put it, yeah. Don't, don't take it out of the box, no, it's better mm -hmm. in the box, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a I'm trying the shoes. 
Uh, four quid for them, mate. Four. Good Highland Brogue shoes, issued to the, what will be the Scottish Army of the future. Okay. What's the British Army now? Nice. Size seven. Look smart. Yeah, they're a good, solid shoe. Yeah, I'll get those, please. <coughs> How much on the clock? Uh, five. Does it like light up and stuff yeah. as it goes yeah, off so and things? A, yeah. It's a. I'm trying to think what they call. Like it gradually lights yeah. up. Yeah. Well, dust till dawn. That's, that's it. it. Yeah. Cool. Light bulbs for all of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, three pound. We no. good? No. Four. Five. It's all for yeah. charity, come on. I did see that, yeah. yeah got it goes to charity. I think my wife follows the Facebook page oh, with this. Excellent. Yeah. But we don't get any hedgehogs in our area. Which is nice. You'd be amazed. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's right. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm prepared. <laughs> yep, I've already filled it once. We've <laughs> got loads of stuff that can go past Yeah, definitely. Thanks. Right. Yeah, good, thanks. That's the whole set there. Yeah. How much for that one? How much for that one? Um, the entire the whole lot for 25 quid. Okay. TV uh, and video. Oh, it goes with it, oh, okay. Yeah, it goes right. with it. It's right. the Panasonic set. The actual tape, the What's in the bag? Two pounds. Two pounds? Yeah, I'll take that please. <clears throat> yeah, I got that. Oh, there we go. Alright. One, two. There you go. Thank you. Cheers. What's your knees? It's a hundred, mate. I've got some single ones that are cheaper. Cool. They're nice. Well, the difference being that they're the original Beaver ones. Alright. Um, I mean, they're old actually, but they're in really good condition. Yeah. And they're like just a yeah. lad that's got a Beaver top, that's a reproduction, that's 30 quid, that one. Yeah, cool. I've got a small fan. Good as well. Cool. They're 45 quid if you want them singly in that condition. And I've got a red yeah. one that's that good as well. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, but you can, you, if, in a minute, when I get the red one of these out, if you pick the red one up and pick that up, nothing wrong. That's fine for home use. Yeah. But when I had them out of sight, you need them to be lighted. Yeah. Uh, that's really good condition. Yeah, so if you pick that black, black thing up that's a reproduction and then pick the proper thing up, which although right. it's like years old, yeah. it just makes <laughs> a total difference. Yeah, exactly. 
mean, you don't often, what you don't often see, you see the, these bits in good condition, you don't often see the globes in good condition. Yeah. They're so old, so yeah. they are really good. Sorry? Uh, 18. <laughs> How much on the... How much on this one? 20. Okay. How much is your picture? No. Um, they all vary. So pick up a few. I'll be So for these... Did you do 10 for it? No, sorry. No. What's your best? What could you do? I'll do 1850. 18. Give me a 15. No, sorry. No. Sorry, honey, it's sold now. Ladies just got it. You're too right. slow. All right, it's all right. <laughs> sorry. What? Why? How much in your video? Uh, fiver. Fiver. I'll take it for a fiver, please. Let's fire for it. Okay. You say you had the remote somewhere or somewhere. Yeah. Uh, so. There's a JVC I think. No, that's a grinding yeah. over there. Sorry. Right. Um, no, don't worry too much. It's alright, that's right. That's right. fine. Cheers. Ooh. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm still here for a while, so yeah. That's alright, cheers mate. Oh Jesus. I messed up, messed up big time there. Nice all the Kylie bin, nice and tall. <sighs> Asking 20, then had in my head, got to try and do some more haggling, like for the videos and things, show that I'm trying to get money off, not being a pushover. Went to 10, tried to 15, she was saying at 18.50. Then someone else came along and bought it under my nose. I wasn't too fussed. There's a few scratches and that, so I wasn't sure. I was going to end up buying it, but apparently someone else bought it. I was too slow, which probably fair enough I was, but still. You know, sportsmanship and all that. Walked away, and it was worth minimum 80 to 100 for a bin. I could have got it for 18.50, but because I was too slow, I missed out. And because of that, I was in a bit of a strop. Put my GoPro in the car and walked around and I'm more than made up for not getting that bin and keep your bin and suck it <laughs> got some pioneer speakers got a super VHS and spoiling it for the end but we've got the back seats down so more than made up for that little mistake but um yeah what did you make out was that purely my fault should I just paid up my money was it just not good sportsmanship from the other buyer and the seller like i was doing a bit of haggling i was gonna buy it but then someone else bought it but you know never mind made up for it anyway next time again trust your gut i should have just bought it there and then not too much faffing about but uh yeah there you go on to the next one and talking of on to the next one we're on to boot sale number two only the mini one there's probably only a couple of rows again but always worth a look I might go to McDonald's, get a bacon and egg McMuffin or sausage. I'll see how I feel. Booster one of three done. On to the next one. See you there. I went for the bacon and egg McMuffin. Went down a treat with a hash brown. Uh, same size, maybe even a bit smaller than last week. One and a half rows, not much at all. But I'm going to keep coming here because you just never know. And hopefully it will keep growing the more it gets popular in things like hard standing, not wet ground. Uh, if it does drizzle, then it's more likely to be on. And then in the winter, I think this one's through the winter as well, or they're planning to. So hopefully as it matures, it will get bigger and bigger. Could it go through? I doubt I'll pick anything up, but you never know. Let's, let's go in. Hi. 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 Cold. Yes. It was warmer <laughs> last week, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> That's up to 
six months. Okay. How much on the little baby bits? Uh, well, it depends. So all of these are probably two fifty. Okay. Some of them are quite expensive, but I can't draw this in That's fine, yeah. But during July, a little one. Uh, so. But you do still get the chillier days. So yeah, I know, yeah. I just don't know. Could you do that one for £2? On yeah. the phone, yeah? Yeah, I'll get that one. Oh, Thank gosh. you. Oops. Oh, sorry. They fly around everywhere, yeah. these bits. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that. Cheers. How much on the Heelys? Oh, they're brand new, mate. They're still in the box and everything. It's just that we've moved out of house. All right. Um, Ten pounds, mate. You know, they still probably take them back. <laughs> what size are they? Uh, five. They haven't been touched. Sorry. I was not sure what size my daughter was. That's oh, all. I think it might be a bit big. Uh, I have to find out and get back to you. Alright. Right. Right. Oh, there's one. 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 There's yeah, two quiddy t-shirts, alright? Was that? Yeah, try to. <laughs> Do like the brute sales and things, yeah. Oh yeah. Looking for all the treasures and stuff that people have. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> slight bit of wind, and it's uh, over. Uh, I knew it was <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> got one, uh, two, four, six. Oh, three there. We do them for a fiver. Tobes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give it to you. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, Thank five. You very much. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Spent a grand total of seven pounds. This for a little lad in July. So obviously that's a keeper. Dinosaurs. Has to be dinosaurs. So obviously not to resell. But then for five pounds, got some band t-shirts, which is cool. Two pound each. Got three, but got three for a fiver, so save the quid. So I'm not sure what they're worth, but I'm pretty sure they're worth more than a fiver than what I paid for them for all three. So yeah, pretty decent. Now let's head off to the late riser one. This is my favorite Sunday one, this later one. Uh, so yeah, in order to pick up loads of stuff, lots of good stuff. So let's get there so we can get in early and carry on the trend of filling the car up. Let's see if we can hit the roof. How much on your typewriter? Let me check. This is one second, mate. Okay. She wants a pound for it, mate. Pound? Yeah. Can't say no to that. There you go. Cheers, Thank, you. Thank you. Cheers. No, the soul. No, not at all. 
Oh, Own it. Right. Is that what's in the box, is it? That's what's in the box, mate. And the rest of it's all in the back there. There's a whole fucking lot of it. All right. You've got cameras in it, you've got cine cameras in it, you've got the projectors, you've got the camera for this, so you film it and then put it in there. There wow. are little block ones, there's even a film still in the box in there. Okay. It's all under stuff, under a cupboard. I've done the clearance and it was all in there, so all I'll right. just grab that and edit it. How much are you asking on that? What, just that on its own? Or I wasn't, oh. it always dropped lot, the whole lot. See all this lot, that box there, that lot, them lot. Oh yeah. Uh, I've looked around with 30 quid for it. For the whole lot, yeah? For the whole lot. Okay. I mean, these, there's one bit in there, all the leaves in there, in it. And that's your, and you put your, like that, you put your reel on it, and you watch it through the telly. It's like a telly, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, it's on that on its own then. I'll take 30 quid for that on its own, mate. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I'll take that for now, then. Um, okay. I'll be going around again. Okay. All right, I'll stick that yeah. All right, mate. I've got my trolley, it should fit in here, actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Oh yeah, I'll fit no problem. Uh, get the money first. That wind is cold. That's <laughs> <laughs> 30 for that. Cheers, mate. Right. Got a couple of on the side, you alright? Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Like a fucking breeder, isn't it, mate? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> They're handy, aren't they? Yeah, it's really handy. <laughs> Right, right, take it on. Good Cheers mate, thanks. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah. How much on the cameras? Well, you go back for a fire with us. That's the charge. Power lead, yeah. Power lead. Cool. The Mooji's name, I'll do, I'll do the pair of them for tenner. Yeah. Quite a collection going on. <laughs> Step up, get clear and get Yeah, it. exactly, yeah. Yeah, we need to do one soon, but wait for this wind to warm up a bit. <laughs> I'll take them two then, please. Okay, Smart case. Yeah, that's nice. Um, tenner, wasn't it, you said? Yeah. yeah. There you go, Cheers, thank mate. you. Thank you very much. I thought I'd even got that. My camera, I'll take the batteries out, but yeah. I need to put them in the shed to work in. Oh, really? Is that next time? Just wait, wait. Okay. It's an old fellow now, Cinecat Super 8. Is it like, uh, like hold it sort of thing with a handle? Yeah, yeah. Is it? And that's the microphone for that with it. Oh, cool. How much on that one as well then? I want eight quid for that to be fair mate with the microphone. Yeah. It's a good old vintage item really. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'll get that as well then. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How much on the skates? Ten? How much on that as well? Ten pounds for that one as well. That's ten as well, yeah? Okay. How about that one as well, that one? Two pounds. Two, yeah. Green. How much are the videos as well? Um, You're doing each table, or? 25 for all of them, there's 35 in there. Alright. Old school stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the decent stuff. Yeah. <laughs> What's your best for this little bundle? So we've got that, the videos and the skates. We do 30 for all of it? Do 32. 32, yeah. I'll take that then. Uh, give me the money first. Hands are going stiff in the cold. Oh, it's <laughs> free and then I'll get the two. Right. Uh, <laughs> You just want to buy something? Yeah, no, I do. Safe going for me. Oh, we've got most of these. Oh, you can come back if you want. I can push something in the booth. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I've got the other two. I've just got to come back for them, that's yeah, all. No I left the cars just there, actually, so... 
I'll be a couple of minutes. Oh, right. I'll just put yeah, that round there, yeah, shall I? Fine. Just put that there. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah, good, thanks. Is that like a pack tester, is it? Or? Yeah, it's a pack tester, yeah. Ah, okay. It's 300, there's 600 on eBay at the moment. It just hasn't <laughs> got the battery, but we got a photo from yesterday with a date on it and everything. All right. It on, so you know it works. What were you asking, sorry? Three. Three. For that All right, one. yeah. I think that's just exercise bits, they don't actually come. Oh, yeah. You can have them, but I mean, like, they don't yeah. come with the bag usually. <laughs> Oh. Me again. <laughs> what did you say I was missing? The battery or something, did you say? It's got or? a battery, but the battery's oh. gone. It's £50 for the new batteries on the e bike. Oh, okay, yeah. But you can you yeah. plug it in with that black cable and you can still use it. It's just for when you're doing it. Oh, portable. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So it still works when you're charging yeah. it, but you can't use it without the battery. Yeah, I got you. What's your best price on it? <laughs> 300 pretty much, mate. To be yeah. Fair. That's a bargain there. I was going for 250. 270, mate. That's, 270, yeah. That's a good deal there. The other thing, can you do bank transfer or something like that? PayPal? I haven't got, obviously, two, 300 uh, on me. Yeah, I can do it to the Monzo, yeah. Yeah, yeah? yeah. 270? Yeah, I'll take that then. If yeah. I can do that. I can, I'm on yeah. Monzo as well, actually. Yeah, perfect. I think you can get 50 quid just for the bag on its own. Yeah. <laughs> Not there's any. Uh, Oop. Boom. The wind's picked up a bit. Christ. Well, I didn't even cover the whole boot cell. I left a few aisles at the end, but um, I need to put a stop to it. I was running out of money in cash and I spent £270 bank transfer on one item. So, yeah. <laughs> called it off early obviously i gotta sell this stuff i can't just keep buying keep buying obviously run out of cash and things so yeah i thought i'd put a stop to it there got some really cool stuff this is why this is my favorite sunday one you get cool quirkier stuff like on my wednesday one which i did nearly filled to the top got some space down there but a good good effort right this is going to require a big trolley at the unit so let's get it all in and show you what i did get some holy moly Back in the unit, I've laid everything out, two tables worth and then some more. I've got loads of stuff today. Just added up for tax purposes what I spent this morning. It's an expensive one. Today, I spent the grand total of £612.50 pence on everything here plus getting in. i got to hurry up and sell this stuff. I can't be spending that every boot sale, I'll tell you that for free. And that's the only free thing, I think. So, because there's so much, I can't spend like lots of detail on each one. Quickly whiz through, there's some things you've seen before, some things I've shown many times before. So yeah, whiz through, I try and remember what I spent. Uh, it might be a bit wrong here and there, but you know what I mean. You've seen these before. Let's just crack on, flip the camera around and I'll show you what I got. So here we go, we've got the sort of electronic side and the mini electronics and other bits side. So we'll start at this end and we'll start, where should we start? We'll start with shoes, here we go. Whiz through these. We've got these, these are cool, I haven't picked these up before. We've got Sanders made in England and they actually told me these are British Army issued. These are like Highlands in Scotland issued, which is cool. Really good condition, really, really nice condition actually. Size 7, so a bit smaller now I'd like. Paid £4 I think it was, these were worth 40 to £50. Good start. First sort of retro Air Monarch trainers. Size 10, could be rocking these if I wanted. This should be worth 35 40 Got these two together at the last boot sale. Didn't see my shoes and boots man actually, so hopefully he's okay. Um, but yeah, hopefully bump into him ongoing throughout the year. But uh, bought these from another shoe seller. I've seen her quite a bit, so building up a bit of a repertoire with her. Uh, these two cost me 25 so a bit more than I'd ideally like, as the Air Forces are a bit yellowed, which is a bit of a pain, but I should be able to cover that up. Size six and a half, they should be 20 25 so I've got my money back there before fees and then got these Air Maxes as well. A women's size, five and a half as well. Uh, these should be 35, 40 in a lot better condition. 
bit of wear there but it shouldn't affect it too much because the top's really nice the toe's good yeah so spent a bit more than i'd like on them too but that should be the money maker there once i've sold these now these ice skates nike bauer these sell well these sell for about uh, i think these are about 40 to 45 pound plus postage again with ice skates make sure you check out the blade because they can rust from the salt in the ice uk 10 and a half so 10 i think ice skates come up a bit small so really good size i've got these with this phillips voice recorder phillips 0085 i'm pretty sure this is a good one i haven't looked it up but i was making a little bundle so i've got the skates this and all these wwf videos for 32 pound all in here she said there's 30 odd videos just doing a pound each or the whole lot for 25 but obviously i chucked in the skates and this as well i don't know if there's anything else but this is really cool i could bundle these up and sell these for like 20 pound bundles get like three or four bundles out of them so we've got different eras obviously stone cold the rock this is when i was watching it late 90s early 2000s that's my era this is a bit before my time Hulk Hogan and that love finding vintage WWF stuff backlash mankind that's my sort of era again beyond the mat it's our time look at that China Triple H rest in peace China yeah that's gonna be like fun to look through so 32 for that so that should be sort of a hopefully 80 pound bundle on their own once i've split them out or sold them all together for maybe 50 all together the skates for 40 50 this one's good and working this should be 18 20 so a nice little extra in the bundle to get a better price which i believe i did so that was a nice bundle a pair of bands i think these might be keepers i think they're a size nine and a half I tried them on they seem to fit right yeah three or four pounds i could sell them for sort of 20 25 but i may be keeping them Biker leather boots, seven pounds, RST. If these were plain black, I might have just left them. But uh, yeah, the colors are really nice. Hopefully 35, 40. Another stall, got a few bits on. Got these Atari walkie talkies. There's two in there, brand new, never been out of the box. Well, the box has been opened, but never used. So new old stock, that was a fiver. Got this Casio VL tone. These are really nice. I think I've sold these for like 85, 95 before, this exact one. I don't know if the market's gone up or down or stayed the same on these but this was 10 so always picking it up with that and also from the same store got this sony um cassette recorder metal which is really nice obviously got to test it make sure it's working made in japan so it's like a quality thing I'm not sure what this is worth if working i'm gonna guess at 20 25 hopefully a bit more if it's not working it's worth the risk at what is this fiver six pound seven pound maybe worth the risk if it's not working should still be able to sell it another little bundle from the same store this is from the third boot sale got this sony handycam this is mini dv so it takes like tiny cassettes in there comes with a power adapter which is handy and a battery so hopefully that stores the battery and keeps hold of battery power this should be 50 to 60 on its own i think this was about 10 or 5 pound was it around that price but loads of profit either way they also had this olympus mew Shame it's not the Mew 2, because that would be a £200 camera. This is the Mew Zoom 140. Always worth picking up Mews, like Olympus Mews, if you ever see them. So they look like nothing special, but um, camera enthusiasts seem to like them. Looks clean and everything, but obviously I can only battery test it. I don't put a film in it and whatever. I just whack the battery and make sure the zoom works, make sure the flash works. And that should be, again, £40, £50 for this Mew. So again, really good pickup. Keeping that average sale price high as well, which is exactly what I'm looking for. And then with the same stall, also pick this up, Bell and Howe, sort of video recorder, like handheld one like this. That was really nice. <clears throat> Comes with the official microphone as well in the case. That should be 35, 40 pounds for this set here. So really nice, really good profit to be made. This was a good spot. This was at the first boot sale. Just sitting on a table on its own. Looks like absolutely nothing special. But I recognise this because this is from Dream Phone, the vintage 90s game. I'll stick it here. It's like a boyfriend type game. Uh, you phone the boys you got a crush on or something like that. And it talks. It does work. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, wrong number. Dial again. Yeah, doesn't come with the game. It's literally this on its own. Because I recognised it cost a pound and this is going to sell for hopefully about 20 pounds if someone's looking for a spare one because their one's broken 
yeah this is like the main feature of the game so a really good spot there go for a pound hopefully 2025 20, this typewriter i shouldn't be buying a vintage typewriter in this good of condition for a pound at boot sale i was almost annoyed i got it for a pound <laughs> i should be spending more than that but that's what she was asking so that's what i paid one pound for the silver reed sr10 looked them up again that price again 40 50 pound and this is in really good condition really clean the only thing i've just seen is this mark here i don't know if that can come off or if that's just wear but i think i can get that off bit of elbow grease really clean no gunk or dust immaculate condition apart from that little mark can't believe it one pound amazing then there's this bag finish off this side juventus kappa sports bag like for football obviously juventus is an italian team for those that don't know yeah really deep bag a bit dusty a bit mucky i think it was three or four pound i paid for this a maximum of a fiver uh, if this is vintage i've got to do a bit of research see the latest date that kappa made juventus gear but um, i might email classicfootballshirts.com i've sold a couple of bits to them they offer good prices like near ebay prices which is handy so I don't know if they sell bags, but um, take a picture of it, send it to them, see if they're interested. And for my three, four, five pounds, yeah, if they're interested, they'll offer a good amount and that'll be an instant sale. Right, we're now to the electronics corner, the big electronics corner. Got these, I think it was on my charity shop, uh, it's like 30 for turning 30 challenge. Lumi body clock, this one's boxed. This store was raising money for the hedgehogs, which is quite cool. <laughs> I think we follow their page on facebook which is quite cute like rescuing and helping hedgehogs in the area and things anyway yeah this goes for i think it was 40 to 45 i've got my other unboxed one listed for about that so this one's boxed might list it at that price and lower the other one uh not much interest a couple of watches not no offers yet so i might reduce the unboxed one then put this one for 40 45 that should go cost a fiver so two very, very identical VHS players by JVC. One's worth about 40, one's worth about 100, maybe more. Can you guess which ones? Look very much the same, even the buttons are the same. But this is the bit here. Those of you that have been watching the channel, been learning from my channel, you should know which one is the 100 pound one. It's this one, that's right, Super VHS. That is what adds the premium price. This one, just standard VHS. No remote, I don't believe, but this was five pound it was. Should be a nice 40, 45 pound sailor again, once tested. So that was nice, that's nice as it is, five pound. But this one, again, five pound, different stool. Super VHS, it plays VHSs in a higher quality, or supposedly, so the heads are better and things. Um, people and collectors really dig this stuff. Yeah, five pound, no remote again. He did say he had it, but um, he couldn't find it, but that's no problem. Hopefully not too much on eBay to replace it. And this, like I said, 100 pound, maybe a bit more. Might ask one, two, five, once I've got the remote with it. And they sell for about that. So yeah, absolutely awesome. Love finding those. Another really, really cool find. It's got this chin on DS300. It's a projector, but it projects onto itself like a TV. So it's like a projector television, which is really cool. Eight millimeter. He said he had a load of other stuff for 130, but I wasn't really sure what the other stuff was. Um, asked how much this was on its own. I thought he might ask 100 for just this, but he wanted just for, but he wanted just 30 quid for just this on its own, which is really cool. I was taking that. Happy to pay that. This should be 150 to 200 pounds. Again, make sure it's tested and working. Buy a confidence. Uh, it looks really well looked after. See, we've got its original polystyrene, so hopefully it's working. If it's not working, it might be the belts that I need to replace, but fingers crossed it's working straight away. 30 quid into near 200 pound. Banging. Pair of Pioneer speakers. From a distance, they look nice with the white casing, but up close, it looks a bit shocking really, a bit shoddy. Someone's just painted the black ash and it looks a bit naff to be honest. But these cost again, five pound. Open it up and here's what people want. Really nice. This is the Pioneer SJ410s speaker system both cabinets really good condition the tweeters and the bass and that uh, someone did comment on one of my videos uh, i can't remember the name so sorry i can't remember your name but i did say there's a big hobby of people building their own cabinets and then adding whatever elements they want 
So even if this is a bit naff and knackered, as long as the insides are good, the guts of it are good, then people will still buy it. They'll take them out, put them in their own cabinet. Apparently it's a big hobby. So that's good to know. That was in my head when I got this because the paint really did put me off. Look at that. This doesn't look nice when I mean, it's off. So yeah, five pounds into hopefully 50, 60 pounds, even with this painted condition. So yeah, big and bulky and things, but with that profit margin, I'm always picking them up. Got there, first aisle, bumped into Hi-Fi guy. Spent 150 quid with him on three items. We've got this Sharp Reel-to-Reel, -reel, National Reel-to-Reel, -reel, and this Denon with speakers. It's 150 for the free. This Sharp, I can't open it, but these are the speakers it opens out. I've picked up similar before and shown you, some of before. Uh, this should be, again, my hi-fi guy. Um, when he says things are working, they are working. So I don't mind paying up. It's really, really good, cool, quirky stuff. So the competition is going to be very minimal. This one on its own should be hopefully 150, 200, maybe a bit more. It's just a bit of damage, but I try and cover that with a bit of black paint. Obviously still declare it's there, but that shouldn't affect it too much because the insides are good, really rare awesome start this is similar it's in a cabinet it opens out here we go opens out so this is the speaker oh show you a little bit there's the reel to reel this is a national so panasonic before it turned to panasonic again said it's working so it will be working looks really nice really rare as well again this should be another 150 to 200 so we're doubling up before fees and then we get to this one got a denon like dab radio and cd player iPod, iPhone, DAB Plus as well, which is good. It's not just digital radio, there's now digital radio plus, which you need to keep an eye on with the matching speakers as well. Just this unit on its own, looked it up, 100, 120 on its own again. So even more profit there. And I could sell it with the speakers, but I might split out the speakers and sell them separately. Oops, really nice things, light wood finish. These are Denon as well with Mission. So quality things. And I'm thinking these are again 40 ish pounds on their own. So I could add them to this, maybe sell it for 150, but I want to get about 120 for this and then 40 50 for them separately. Just to add in profit. Quality and good brands should sell as well. Whew. Last but not least, we've got all this stuff lots of profit, lots and lots of profit. Then I spent 270 pounds on this one item Seawald Group. I recognize that brand. They might make like industrial high-end things and in it was this oh we've got this machine the Seawald Apollo 600 I thought it was a label printer to start with but then starting to investigate a bit and things it's like is this a pat testing machine and yeah I asked him and it was it's got everything that it needs apparently the only thing the battery is gone on it so it needs to be plugged in if I want to obviously make it portable for the person that buys it off me I have to replace the battery, but I might not bother as long as it can be plugged in and working. That's good. Even some spare labels and things. Uh, and I know these are not cheap. I think I looked up and these are like eight to a one thousand pounds, maybe even a bit more than a thousand pounds, brand new from Seawald. Got all the bits here. It's just the battery that's gone. Not keeping its charge, but if it still works and things, then yeah, this two hundred and seventy pound should, on sold prices, be worth hopefully 695 minimum might be trying 795 maybe around there but again paying up for the right thing good brand made well obviously made for businesses and things uh, it's always going to be worth lots of money run out of money well i didn't run out of money i didn't have 270 pound on me so bank transfer we're in 2021 we have a computer in our pockets so just ask them, bank transfer, PayPal, anything like that. Then yeah, as long as they accept and you can make payment there and then, which I did and walked away with it. Ooh. And there we go, that is everything. Hopefully I didn't take too long, but I picked up a lot of stuff, really good quality. Yet again, consistent flow of good quality, high-end, expensive items. So spending out a lot and obviously with cash flow, I need to get selling this stuff. And like I've said before, if there's anything you've seen in these videos or past videos and you're interested, hit me a message, details down below. Got my Facebook page, my Instagram page, or if the stuff's already on Depop or on eBay, then obviously I have to sell it on that platform. So message me on the relevant platform and I'll sort you out a deal. In fact, I did sell something to a subscriber quickly, which is up here. I think it's the Prestige uh, Kitchen Vintage Steps. 
I put a picture here. They sold to Ross uh, and his wife fell in love with them apparently when he saw them in the video. 59.99 plus postage, so thanks Ross and the wife. Um, I'll be posting that out tomorrow. Got to get that down, It'll take a bit of wrapping, but yeah, really appreciate it. Obviously help support me in the business, get that cash back in to spend it again, pay the bills, all that stuff. So yeah, really appreciate it. Thanks again, Ross. Yeah, I'll get that box up tomorrow. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy this. Been treating you with all these boot sale videos. I might not film next week at boot sales, take a bit of a week off from filming. I'll still be going in that. Um, so look out on my Instagram and things for stories, what I do pick up. But hopefully doing a few lives and things. So yeah, stay tuned to the channel. Hopefully you picked up lots too. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.